Well, Katie Price is worried that her raw vocals for A Whole New World with Peter Andre before they separated may be released on the internet. And Peter Andre's single, Behind Closed Doors, didn't get to number one. It was held off that spot by the Black Eyed Peas. Well, I'm Peter Jarrett, and this is Gossip TV. Jennifer Lonely Girl Aniston seems to have come out of her spinster closet with her on-off beau Gerard Butler, with whom she stars in the film The Bounty Hunter, currently in production. Jennifer has been handy with co-star and co-squeeze Butler at the Jane Hotel and enjoying romantic nosh at Freeman's Restaurant on New York's Lower East Side. What the butler saw, he'll see again, but Jen will have to shove him back into the closet so her lonely girl tag can remain virgin intacto. Gerard Butler currently stars in the U.S. film The Ugly Truth with actress Catherine Heigl, which has proven a hit stateside with filmgoers. However, UK audiences slated the film. Look for Butler on the current issue of Esquire magazine. Heidi Montag, the other half of the small screen romance from US reality show The Hills, is locked in a bitch fest over her Playboy cover and editorial spread with glamour model Aubrey O'Day, who's only well known in the US and skanky working men's toilets, claims that although Heidi is a beautiful lady, her spread isn't as risque as hers or as fly blown, probably. O'Day, who is an ex-Dainty Kane performer, reckons Montag should have snatched the lusty limelight with more gusto and beard more, or preferably all, for the men's mag. Heidi, however, does have a single out to promote, and she just did that at the Miss Universe competition recently where she lip-synced the vocals to body language. Audiences cringed, but some warmth was felt as everyone allegedly peed themselves watching. Heidi Montag, Aubrey O'Day. They're both tits. Lindsay Lowen, who I reported some weeks ago was embroiled in the alleged theft of a designer necklace that she modeled in a shoot in London, has had her Hollywood Hills home robbed and ransacked for the second time. Lynn Sanity, as some La La Landers call her, was so shaken by the destruction of her home, which involved a wall safe being ripped from the wall, that she summoned her strange and estranged father, Michael Lowen, to come to her assistance. Some sharp-tongued Lindsay observers are saying that they're sure that the hard-up starlet had tens of dollars stolen from her safe and her Marilyn Monroe lunchbox. No multi-million pound necklace was found. Lowen is now on the market for a reasonably priced Wendy house. Last May, Courtney Love was sued by designer Dawn Simoranker claiming that she was the latest victim of Love's volatile personality, hair-trigger temper, malicious and torturous behavior. Love is demanding the lawsuit be tossed out of court. Courtney twittered that the designer was a vile, horrible, lying bitch because the designer sent Courtney a bill for the custom-made dress that was designed for the, um, well, singer. According to legal documents, Courtney says Simaranker, in fact, stole hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of clothing from her, which Love claims the designer then sold on the internet. Courtney has gone on to claim that the designer is a coke dealer, a thief, an embezzler, a racist, and a homophobe. Jeez, what an all-rounder. And a bit more Jordan news. Alex Reed, Jordan's current boyfriend, it is reported, is starring in a hardcore porn movie called Killer Bitch. The cage fighter's character in the film rapes and strangles his co-star. Reed apparently enjoyed committing himself totally to the role, grunting furiously. Sources on set say that Jordan has been making filming nay impossible for all involved by phoning the fighter actor constantly and interrupting or holding up filming. When seen out at the weekend in London and questioned about Reed's film role, Jordan replied it wasn't him. Well, how could it be? if she's kept pulling him off. Set. This week's gossip shout-outs are to the owners of the new, soon-to-open, trendy night spot in Brighton called Inc. The owners being Zoe Urban and Lloyd Power. Hello from Gossip. Why don't you guys check out Inc, number 54 to 55, Meeting House Lane, 
right in or dial 01273-207040 and Gossip will be filming the opening night. And that's Gossip this week. I'm Peter Jarrett and this is Gossip TV.